Somewhere between the most popular hooks and the most confusing hooks is a thin line called use effect. Back in the old days of React, when components were class-based, we used to deal with three kinds of functions called component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. This was known as the component lifecycle. Basically, if I wanted something to run when the component mounted or unmounted or even updated, all I'll have to do is paste it inside of one of those functions and React will do the rest. That is what useEffect does, it combines those three constructor functions into one function. So I'll go ahead and call useEffect and it takes in one argument which is the function that you want to run and I'll just log out to the console component mounted and you'll notice it will log out my message. But what about component did update? Well whenever the component does re-render, useEffect will recall the callback function. And therefore I'm going to create a state that returns a number and set number and I'm going to set the number to increment inside of an onClick event inside of my button. Now whenever I click the button, the useEffect function will run. But at this point useEffect will run whenever the DOM re-renders and that might be something that you don't want to happen. So as a second argument we can give it an array of variables and whenever any of these change, then and only then useEffect will run. Aside from the component mountain of course. And likewise we can give it an empty array as a dependency and that will allow useEffect only to run after the DOM has rendered the first time. So essentially it would work just like component did mount. Now usually we use useEffect to make asynchronous fetch calls to get external data from say an API. So I'm going to use the JSON placeholder API to fetch a list of to-dos and render them to the DOM. So I'm just going to place the fetch request inside of useEffect and I'm also going to change the number at the end of the route that represents which to do to the state that I've just created which is called number. And now I'm just going to create another state with an empty string as its initial value and it will return to do and set to do. And instead of just logging out to the console that to do, I'm going to set to do equal to json.title. And last but not least, inside of my h1 tag, I'm going to place inside of there the to do. And now you can see inside of the browser, whenever I click next to do, it's just going to bring me the next to do after making a fetch request. Now one last thing you might want to do is to run a piece of code once the component has been destroyed, which was the last component cycle component will unmount. And the easy way to do that is just by returning a function from useEffect, and that function will run once that component is unmounted. Now there's one last thing I'd like to show you inside of useEffect, and that is what happens if I have the number as a dependency, but then use setNumber to increment the count inside of useEffect. The result of this is an infinite loop. The best case scenario is whenever this happens you get a bunch of errors inside of your console and you stay for hours trying to figure out what went wrong. The worst case scenario is you get a $20,000 bill from Firebase telling you that you made a quintillion document reads to the database, and you didn't even know about it. Now with that said, all I got to say is good luck and make sure you know what you put in inside of your dependencies. And on that bombshell, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos of React Hooks, and thanks for watching.